Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, Cesar. Here was a video here today. We guys have got a English is hard. Yet another episode of five awesome text effects for beginners in Photoshop. So hopefully you guys will learn some really cool, fun, like different things and ideas in Photoshop with like just text effects in mind. You guys get the point of the video, right? The title's there. This is the video. Thank you for clicking on it. If you guys are new, please sure to subscribe and like all that good stuff. You also comment down anything you want to see me do personally in this channel. But uh, yeah, if you're definitely new, just keep subscribing. If you guys definitely keep liking these videos, I'm gonna keep doing them. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's just get this thing started. All right, homie, so the first text effect is a bleeding stroke idea. Starting off with your word of choice broken down into any kind of fun formation you can think of and each letter that you guys want to manipulate on its own separate layer. So for me and my letters, the I and the A are the ones that I will manipulate. So I will actually take my M letter and stretch the height with the characters table to about 135% in order to actually create a height difference. That way the strokes have a direction. Next, take your letter. So for me, that's the I and turn your fill all the way down to 0%, but not the opacity. Next, double click the layer to open up the layer styles and select stroke. Here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and choose a size from one to two and press okay. Also with the color as well. Afterwards, place your letter line up with the bottom or the top of the letter that you stretched. Now you guys wanna hold Alt and Shift and press in the arrow key whatever direction you guys wanna make the effect in as many times as it actually takes to reach the top or the bottom of the letter that you end up stretching. And be sure that on your last duplicated layer, you put your fill back to 100% and you make sure that your text color is also the same color as your background color. That way it hides all the different stroke duplicates behind it. And just like that, you guys end up creating a really simple effect with a stroke direction. You can of course use this for like other letters and also have a lot of fun with different forms and sizes. Next up is a pretty simple one. It's super cool for texturing or giving a design that really fun urban style. And that's Iris Blur. Take your word of choice with a nice bold font and duplicate it a few times to fill the canvas. Once you guys have actually done that, take the middlemost copy and right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. After, go to Filter, Blur Gallery and choose Iris Blur. Here is where you actually want to bump the initial blur to a pretty absurd amount to where like the word is still distinguishable, however, still has a pretty awesome blur to it. Don't be afraid either to actually take one of the four anchors and hold down the Alt key on your keyboard to actually move the amount of blur that is actually placed in that direction. Press OK, of course, you guys are done, and there you guys go. It's a pretty fun way to texturize your canvas and explore the awesome vibes it can bring. I also totally did not steal this from the Valorant guidelines. Up next is a pretty fun stroke revealing idea. It's honestly very easy to actually do, but combined with a pretty sexy font and a color scheme, it can easily be enough for a project. Take your word of choice and, of course, lower your fill down to 0%. Next, open up your layer styles on the text layer and choose Stroke. Here, you can actually change your size either 1 or 2 and be sure to choose a color that you guys want. Press OK once you guys are actually done, then quickly duplicate your layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then what I want you guys to end up doing is take your fill on the duplicated layer and bring it back to 100%, while also hiding or deleting the effects, that way the stroke layer is no longer visible. Next, add a layer mask to the duplicated layer and take your zero hardest brush, select the mask itself, and start to erase on one side, leaving a fun dissolving trail behind it. Of course, on your color picker, black will erase and white will fill in when you guys switch colors, so be sure to add back in color in areas where it needs to be more present. Otherwise, you have a really awesome text effect that I honestly love personally doing on my projects. Alright, so now we actually have a pretty fun concept of taking some handmade scribbles and tying them into a font. It's pretty easy to do. Take your brush that has a 100% hardness level to it and hover over one letter at a time and on a new layer, start to draw something. No real direction here, you can do zigzags, swirls, whatever. Next, on that new layer, add a layer mask. Now I want you guys to hold control and select the thumbnail of the text layer to grab the mask of the letters. With the brush tool while selected back on the new layer mask, make sure that you are on the eraser color, which is black. And think of the doodle that you just did going in front and behind the text. So allow one part of the doodle to be in front and then erase after to make it seem like it's behind. And pretty quickly, you'll see that you can pretty much add anything to text freehand to make some really cool, awesome edits and personality. Honestly, you can even add in some crowns and stars around to actually fully sell the idea. So last up is a play on the vaporwave text effect I did a few years ago. This time, however, it's in a circle. Now, given that last sentence, first we want to make sure that we go to our shape tool and select the ellipse tool and create ourselves a perfect circle, which for the record can be done by clicking, then holding Alt and Shift till you get your desired size. Up at the top left while your shape tool is selected, turn off your stroke and your fill, that way it's just a path. Then I want you guys to select your text tool and hover over the circle path that you just created till you see a nice little curve line going through your tool. Now you guys want to go ahead and write out your word or phrase in your favorite font and be sure that your size is big enough so that way it goes all the way around the circle. Next, be sure that your text is the color that you want because now you're going to actually be heading over to your text layer, right clicking it and choosing rasterize type. Then with the circle marquee tool, you want to create a circle on the inside of your text circle 
just enough to where it's actually overlapping a little bit below the layers. If it's honestly hard to actually center the circle, you can also right click on the circle itself and choose transform selection to make it a little bit easier. However, once you guys have done that, head over to filter, distort and choose pinch. Make sure that the amount is at 100% and press OK. Nothing should actually happen by the way, but it should actually have a loaded up previous action of the pinch that you guys just created. So that way you can press Ctrl Alt and F and keep pressing it just up until your text is fully stretched and hits the middle. It might take up to eight or nine different repeated actions, but once you guys have actually done that, with your circle selection still active, you can head back over to the store and choose twirl. With the amount roughly at 50, press OK and then you guys are done. You can always take your layer now and also make it into a smart object to add in some blur and erase it where you don't really want it to be anymore. Honestly, you can utilize the effect like a stamp or just like a really cool heavily motion inspired idea on your canvas. With that being said, hope guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, all that good stuff. Leave a like if you guys did, subscribe, all the, the good stuff. You guys know the point of this point of this video. You guys already know. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Look over here for the record. If you guys want, of course, check out the other episode, which I believe is just as good as this one. And they're only going to get better and better and better since I run out of more ideas. Got to figure out more ideas. That's kind of how it goes. So with that being said, it's so HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love, peace, and enjoy your weekends. And enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy the rest of the week. I'm going to. Hopefully, you do too. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.